Oh, hi there. Um, what we're going to do today is a quick diagnostics with the new ISTA Plus, which used to be called the ISTA D system. It's the BMW and Rolls Royce Mini, etc., uh, dealer diagnostic system for uh, those vehicles, those brands. And um, as you can see, this version is actually version 4.08 which came out in uh, January 2018 so okay what we're going to do today is a quick diagnostics just to, just to show you how to use it briefly so once you've loaded it up you want to go to you want to make sure it operations new and either VIN readout data is checked in my case I want to do readout vehicle data and then down the bottom here I'll choose complete identification it's quite a big system so you do need a very fast laptop with, uh, with, a, with a large amount of, of RAM I'd recommend a minimum 4 gig of RAM So what it's doing now is picking up the VIN and other information about the vehicle such as the engine number or the engine type. And as you can see at the top here you've got the last seven digits of the VIN. It's a one series E81 etc. The system will automatically go to the next page which is um, the control tree as you can see here. It's highlighted up here. And what this does, it picks up all the ECUs in the vehicle. The ECUs that are green indicate that they're perfectly fine, with no faults picked up. The modules that are amber normally mean that there's a fault stored. And quite often you might get some that might be red, and that would indicate a major problem or ECUs not responding etc. As you can see down here you've got the um, information on what they mean. Green, no fault memory. Amber, with fault memory. Red, not responding. And there's blue there as well. There is known faults with this vehicle including deployed airbags so um, I know exactly what the problems are okay so we can do a couple of things here we can we can actually go into each individual ECU so you just highlight it for example I'll, I'll, I'll highlight this uh, the DDE which is the diesel fuel electronics um, and then you can call up ECU functions down here and what this does is it gives you the information about the ECU and it lets you run some tests this, this system is a little bit slow because it is a customer's laptop that they have supplied myself for the installation of Vista. Um, it's actually a dual core. I wouldn't recommend a dual core. I'd recommend something a bit more faster than that. If you was to go and use your own laptop. Um, okay, so here we have it. The DDE. It's got the part number and all the information about it. You can do sort all sorts of tests. Automatic start stop function if installed. You can sort of you know read the state of it, etc. And you could do all sorts of tests here. And you can delete fault memory here as well. Um, I'm going to close it for now and um, I'm going to display fault memory which this page gives you all the fault codes of every ECU um, DD, yeah, at the top here okay, so JA means yes in German I'm not sure why it's displaying JA the previous versions didn't despite the system being in English just so I'd show that to you 
up in the settings, see English here, British English is checked. Um, so uh, I'm not sure why it says jar, and no, as in any faults, no, it displays in English. Um, it's probably just a glitch with this particular version, but you'll get used to that. That's, that's the only German part of this system. Ja, yes. Okay, so we can go and do a... Um, so say we had an issue with, I don't know, the, the GLOW system. We can calculate a test plan. There's a lot of faults on this vehicle, so it's running a little bit slower than it would. Plus the slow laptop, but we'll get there in the end. So they list the faults in priority. Um, so let's just let's just stick to the top here. Safety system ignition circuit. So you'd highlight that and display. And then what this would do is give you a bit more information about this issue, including wiring diagrams. Because, yeah, it's, it's the airbag system, so like I say, I know the fault with this. I don't need to look at any of the wiring diagrams, but you can see you can see that they've all come up. It's, it's a complete system with the wiring diagrams built in, into it as well. And um, so what you do if for the complete um, test plan would be to uh, continue here. You could read all this information. It's up to you. And it basically gives you a guided test. Um, so we know that all these airbags are actually deployed, including the belt tensioners. Um, there's no description for this fault code because the description is actually here. So fault code 0093A8 is the driver's airbag is deployed, which is the, um, I believe that's the uh, steering wheel airbag. And the tensioners as well, belt tensioners, battery terminals gone, and you can continue um, doing the uh, f fault finding. If you wasn't sure what the fault was at this stage, you could continue, and um, it will take you through, like I say, guided tests, and it's really as simple as that. Um, and uh, there is another to close it down. By the way, you just you just close this little cross here. Just a quick um, tutorial, I want to show you how to open and use, uh, well not use, but just open Ista-P. Um, so it's quite a big program. Once you launch Ista-P from the desktop, you'll be, be presented with a menu and you have to pick the, um, the option that suits your needs. So the first one is for BMW vehicle uh, cars. Second one is for BMW motorbikes, electric vehicles, minis, and Rolls Royces. So um, I'm just going to pick the first one for the sake of this video. And what you'll see down here is it appears started. You see a little grey box down here, and this will take a couple of minutes to load up. It'll be quicker on a, like I say, on a on a faster laptop. One thing you can do, you can actually right click on this little square Ista P uh, icon, right click, 
and you can bring up an SDP user manual. So you can, um, I'll just bring that up now. Oh, you won't be able to see it. Um, but it's a it's a it's a quick manual how to use the system. Uh, like I say, Easter P is for programming only. I'll just scroll down and show you. Lots of information here on how to use it. It will briefly look like um, it has stopped loading, but it hasn't. It's, it is still loading in the background. And um, any second now, it should pop up. So there's one thing to note. You shouldn't be running Mr. Plus and Mr. P at the same time. You must run each program separately. Close them down thoroughly before using the other one and um, more so with Mr. P you must close Mr. P down thoroughly before shutting down the laptop failure to do so will result in um, a corruption of Mr. P and it will need to be um, repaired And here we are with the Easter P uh, main screen. So what you want to do, I've already got my uh, ICOM head attached. So to set it up, you just simply create new session. And you want to leave this as it is. Select server automatically. Click continue. And what it will do now is it will try and pick up the head that you've got connected, the ICOM head, or whatever head you'll be using. And it should display on the next screen, which it does. You highlight that, and then you click Connect. And then it will start trying to pick up the vehicle, but I don't have a vehicle connected, so it's not going to pick anything up. So for now, um, I'm going to close this down. End session, close client. And like I say, before shutting down the PC or using Insta Plus or using Insta P again, make sure this is shut down properly. It takes some time. To know that it's shut down, the little the little square will disappear here. It's a little square logo. So you just have to wait for that to disappear. So it looks like it hasn't sh it looks like it has shut down but it hasn't. Oh, now it has. And that, that concludes a brief uh, tutorial on how to use Ista Plus and how to start Ista P and close Ista P. Many thanks for watching. Cheers.